Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I am so excited because I have Caitlin here with me, and she is with a little dash of darling.com. You guys have to check out her blog, the link is going to be below. And for the total outfit look and hair pairing, you have to check out her blog post, and I'm also going to put that below. So check that out. And today, what I want to head a did for you guys is I did a really nice fringe braided updo. It's really, really classy, but it's perfect for every day. And make sure you ladies stay tuned to the very, very end because I'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of our holiday pairing. So check that out and let's go and get started. Okay, so Caitlin's hair is really fine textured, so what I went ahead and did is I added a little bit of salt spray by Kirastas. That's really gonna have, help give a lot of texture and grip to her hair. And then I went ahead and curled it with a one and a quarter inch curling iron. So all I'm gonna do now is we're gonna be creating our French braids. So basically I'm gonna do two French braids going into the back and create a really nice low updo. So basically all I'm gonna do is divide the hair in half and then start with our right side first and then incorporate our left side in here in just a little bit. So I'm simply just gonna go ahead and clip that away. So now working with her right side, I think she looks nice with a little bit of softness around her face, so I'm just gonna disregard this first little front area, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of a triangle section and then start our French braid going from here. I'm not gonna use a lot of tension because I want it to be really soft and romantic. So basically dividing the hair in three, taking my right section up and over into the middle, my left section up and over to the middle. Now I'm gonna start incorporated, incorporating hair into it as I work down to the nape of the neck. Now I'm going to start incorporating a little bit of hair from about around the occipital bone area because I want the French braid to kind of travel to the side a bit and then when we travel with the other um, French braid we're going to actually be going below this French braid. Okay, you can see that I disregarded a lot of this back area, and then I went ahead and traveled with the French braid about two an uh, inch away from her ear, and then I just did a simple three strand braid. So now on the opposite side, I'm gonna do the same thing, only I'm gonna travel with our French braid with all of the remaining hair going to the opposite side of the head. Now I'm just working around the head. It's really important to have the proper body positioning. You can tell my body is changing uh, positions as I'm working around the head. All right, so if you've been following me for a while, this is my favorite part. I love to pancake the braid out. So basically what we're gonna do is in each section, I'm gonna simply tug on each piece. And actually before I do that, I'm gonna apply a little bit of dry shampoo just for a little texture. And now through each section, I'm just gonna pull. This is just gonna help create a lot of bulk to her braid. Okay, so now I'm simply just gonna take each braid and I'm gonna drape them across from one another and pin them and create a really nice low updo. You can see that the braids are crisscrossing one another and it looks really, really elegant. Now I'm just gonna take our ends and simply tuck them underneath and secure them with a bobby pin. All right, so there you ladies have it, a perfect everyday style. Thank you, Caitlin, so much for being here today. And if you guys wanna connect with her or me, all of our links are gonna be below, so feel free to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, we got it all, so I'll see you girls soon.